Welcome to the Delhi Calm. Today we'll be exploring how to challenge a worried mind. Let's begin our practice by sitting comfortably, keeping your back straight in a position that exudes wakefulness, but that isn't stiff or tense. Close your eyes. Relax your forehead. Soften your jaw. Observe the weight of your body, feeling where it makes contact with your cushion or the chair. Now take a full, deep breath. And then another. Letting go of the day and allowing the breath to ground you into this moment. Now relax the breath. Just noticing how the body instinctively knows how to breathe. We can just relax back and let it do its thing. The breath blows in, the breath blows out. Watch it closely. Follow it as though you are playing follow the leader. Let the breath lead the way. Follow the breath in, follow the breath out. This breath, and then this one, and then this one. Notice where your mind is, and if you've been distracted by the endless banter that occurs in the privacy of the mind. It takes concerted effort to let go of our thoughts, especially when they're filled with worry. The more we worry, the more worry becomes habitual. Our repetitive concerns have the potential to become the soundtrack of our lives, even when worry is needless. So part of this practice is bringing awareness to this automatic stream of consciousness. We want to break our addiction to worrying by strengthening our ability to release anxious thought. And that comes with awareness, recognizing that worry is happening and coming back to the present. Each time you notice you're caught up in worries, observe them and return to the breath. Continue to follow it as though it were the leader. 
Follow the breath all the way in. And when you reach its end, observe it as the breath transforms into an exhale. And follow the exhale to its completion. Now relax your attention, just noting how you feel. Yesterday I introduced the concept of Wu Wei, or non-doing, illustrated through the character of Winnie the Pooh. Since the characters in this series all represent different aspects of Taoism, today... I thought we'd talk about Piglet. While Winnie the Pooh goes with the flow, Piglet is an anxious worrier. Rather than going on adventures with Tigger, anxiety keeps Piglet close to home. He won't leave his house when it's raining or if there's a strong wind because he's very small. He won't play soccer because he might get hit. He can't fall asleep at night because of the heffalumps and woozles. He constantly finds things to become anxious about because anxiety is what he knows best. Worry is natural in life, but it's not helpful when it's about a number of things, is frequent, and is difficult to control. Prolonged worrying generates even more anxiety, so it's up to us to catch ourselves when falling into an anxious spiral. What this means is paying attention to when worries arise and when they do, to practice relaxation techniques. We can notice how worry feels in the body. Once we're aware of it, we can learn to identify and challenge our worries, noticing thought patterns like exaggeration, magnification, or jumping to conclusions. It's only with this awareness that we can replace our anxious thoughts with more balanced ones. When we dwell in worry, it robs us of happiness and it restricts us from moving forward. As Van Wilder said, worry is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. So make it a regular practice to challenge your worries again and again. By being less focused on future uncertainties and getting more present, our anxieties soften and we find peace of mind. Now slowly, feel into sensations in your body. Come back to sounds in the room. And when you're ready, open your eyes.
I hope you enjoyed today's Daily Calm. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.